Hey guys, so thanks everyone for engaging so well in the Pear Deck last, uh, last week. I hope you all learned a lot. I ended up getting 39 responses on that one, which is just awesome. I really appreciate that. Um, just a reminder that if anyone is looking for a little bit of extra maths help, um, all three of us are available after school on a Wednesday. We, uh, we're in LC6, so come along and, and get some help with anything that you need. Um, so last week we spoke about Riemann sums and area under the curve, and we also learnt this notation f of x being the antiderivative of like a small f of x, and uh, we're going to be bringing in uh, a new term today, an integral, which is kind of like bringing these two together. Um, an integral looks something like this. And what this means is this this sort of s looking thing here is the integral sign, and it means the sort of the area under the curve of this function uh, with respect to x, so like along the x axis. Um, and so if we had a, a, a let's do a practice question here. So we've got a practice question. This is taken straight from the textbook. Um, if y equals x to the power of 7, find dy by dx, and the integral of x to the power of 6 with respect to x. So, finding the derivative of this, the we bring the 7 out down the front and then take 1 off of the exponent, 7x to the power of 6. So that's a, a dy by dx. Um, so the integral of x to the power of 6, uh, we know that it has to look something like this, but the difference between this one and this one are that this one's multiplied by 7. So to undo multiplying by 7, we know that it needs to look uh, like uh, being divided on uh, by 7. So we'd have 1 on 7 of this original function here, x to the power of 7. And we've seen uh, answers of this form a lot over the last couple of weeks, like this n, n plus 1 over n plus 1. I'd like to bring in one new idea which is this idea of there being a plus c and what this means is that we've got a function okay so it sort of looks uh, yeah. so that's our x to the power of 7 and our integral is asking us to find the area under this curve but if we were to take the derivative of 1 on 7 so d by dx 1 on 7 x to the power of 7 we know that that's x to the power of 6 we've done that just now but if we were to take d by dx of 1 on 7 x to the power of 7 plus 50 is this here, this function here, 1 on 7 x to the power of 7 plus 50, is that greater than 1 on 7 x to the power of 7? Uh, and the answer is, well, yeah, because it's got it's got this plus 50. But we wouldn't know that that existed because you differentiate this and it just, the 50 goes to zero. The derivative of constant is just zero. So it'll just go to x to the power of six again. So if all you're given is x to the power of six, you don't actually know everything about this antiderivative because it could have this constant on the end. So the way that we represent that is with this plus c. So every time you do an indefinite integral, and an indefinite integral means that when you've got your integral symbol here, you don't have a number here 
or here, and we will get to that a little bit later. But if you don't see numbers here and here, you need to remember this plus C. It's super important that you remember that. Um, so we're going to continue on with some practice questions now.